to another year of power, another year of joy, another year of healing and deliverance. The Lord has made it clear, if you have not watched my uh, prophecies for the year, go ahead, you will see it on YouTube. The Lord has said, this is your year of deliverance and rest. Double, double for you. Amen. And God, who has said that, is going to bring it to pass. He has done it before. He will do it again. You have entered this year in joy. You will finish well in the name of Jesus Christ. What the Lord has put on my spirit and I want to share is what I call navigating the new year in the power of Holy Ghost. Navigating the new year in the power of Holy Ghost. Let us pray. My Father, my God, in the name of Jesus, I just want to thank you again for the opportunity to come to your people at a time like this in the beginning of a new year. Thank you for the opportunity to give us rest, to break the years into segments so that we can rest, so that we can replan, so that we can re-strategize. I'm so grateful to you, Lord, because you are the God of all wisdom. Blessed be your name, O God. In the name of Jesus, as we launch out to these 365 days, as we launch out to these 52 weeks, 12, 12, 12 months of this new year, I want to pray, O oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ, that we guide us. We have come to Lord you today to, because we know that, Lord, your presence makes the difference. And we just want you to lead us in this new year. In Jesus' name we are praying. Amen. Once again, my name is Pastor Amos Dada, and I'm glad I'm in this new year. God has brought you here, and God will help us to go forward in the name of Jesus Christ. I want to share with you, as I said, navigating the new year in the power of the Holy Ghost. Navigating the new year in the power of the Holy Ghost. Friend, you need the power of the Holy Ghost to help you this year. If there's one thing you want to ask God for, if there's one thing that will assist you, as a matter of fact, some people call it the GPS, God's plan of salvation. If there's one thing you need to succeed in your endeavor this year, it's called the Holy Ghost. The Bible makes it clear that how important it is that you have the Holy Ghost. Without Holy Ghost, you cannot even be a Christian. You cannot be listening to this now. Because the things that are spiritual are spiritually designed. I'm praying that God will give you understanding and to listen to this message. And not just to listen to it, but to pray for it. Pray for the power of the Holy Spirit. You know, when God gave Moses an assignment to lead the people from the land of bondage to Egypt, to Israel, the land that flows with milk and honey, it was to be a 40 days trip. It became 40 years trip. But even not knowing that, <laughs> I pray for somebody right now that the journey of 40 days will not become the journey of 40 years. You will not go in circles in the name of Jesus. You will go straight to where God wants you to be. So, Moses asked that, Lord, who will take me? Who will guide me? And God says, I'm going to give you the Holy Spirit. He said, I mean, the, 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 an angel. God, uh, Moses said, an angel is good, but it's not sufficient. I need something better. And God gave himself, offered himself. In Exodus 3, verse 2, uh, um, 14, he said, my presence will go with you and I will give you rest. I'm praying for you this year. God has said it's a year of rest. But for you to have the rest, I tell you, you need the power of the Holy Ghost. In John chapter 16, verse 7, when Jesus was to leave this place, he was emphatic. He was stern. Look, 
It is for your advantage that I have to go. If I do not go, the Holy Spirit will not come. But when I've gone, the Holy Spirit will come. He will convict you of sin, of righteousness, and of judgment. When the Holy Spirit, and when Jesus was here, the Bible tells us in John chapter 3, from verse 34 to 36, He said, He was full of the Holy Ghost. No wonder He was able to do exploit. You want to do exploit? You want to do ministry? You want to succeed in your market? You want to succeed in your business? You want to succeed in your marriage, in your in your, in your, in your, in your academic pursuit, in your research, whatever area God has given you to be, in your ministry, in preaching, you need the power of the Holy Ghost. You need the power of the Holy Ghost. And I'm praying for somebody on this line that the Lord will release the power for you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So, I, I mean, I cannot, that's why we, 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 we are here. We want to share how the need and the areas where you need the Holy Spirit, why you need the Holy Spirit, and what the Holy Spirit will do for you in this year. You know, some of us have been saved for a number of years, some perhaps a year, some just month or few weeks. Being saved from sin is wonderful. Thank God for that. All things fade away and all things become new. And I'm so glad you are saved. But to be a good soldier <laughs> in the service of our Lord Jesus Christ is not enough just to be saved. There is much more for you. You need to be baptized in the Holy Ghost. And I'm praying for somebody that the Lord will baptize you in the Holy Spirit in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In past times, some believers didn't even know there was Holy Ghost. He said unto them, Have you received the Holy Spirit since you believed? And they said unto him, We have not so much as heard whether there be any Holy Ghost. Acts chapter 19, verse 2. These people were saved, but it is clear they were not filled or baptized with the Holy Ghost. Maybe that's your situation. You two, you are not. There's something called the Holy Spirit. It is the third personality of God. You have God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. And we don't use it for the Holy Spirit because it's not the wind. We can, it can be represented by wind. It can be represented by oil and so on. But he's a personality. He has intellect. He has feelings. He can speak. He can talk. He can guide. He can direct. That is the Holy Spirit we are talking about. I believe we are saved through the power of the ministry of the Holy Spirit. But scripture tells us that in addition to this, there is also a baptizing an infilling, a possessing that the Holy Spirit does for us. Jesus himself did not send his disciples, you know, and followers into the world until they were baptized with the Holy Ghost. Certainly his disciples had pure hearts. They had faith to heal the sick, to cast out demons. They had the word of the Lord, already had been preaching, Christ gaining converts. They were witnessing, you know, uh, about the resurrection. What more would they be? But they were willing to die for Jesus. Wasn't their love for him enough to send them into the world to do this work? Jesus said, look, tarry ye in Jerusalem. Receive the power of God. And you can see the difference. You can see that one of the faithful uh, uh, disciples was Peter. Peter was charismatic. I love that man. Peter was both. He was naturally gifted. When others are keeping quiet, Peter will speak. He, 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 he is an overt. Hallelujah. You know, but he always misses it at crucial times. Can you imagine? God told him, you are going to do what? Deny me three times. It shows that he was powerless because when the first person came and they said, look, I guess you are you are you are you 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 are with the man Jesus, and he denied. He said, "I never knew that person." If the Holy Spirit was there, he would have reminded Peter, you know, to assist him. But until he fell flat, <laughs> that's to show you the power of the Holy Spirit. Even when he finished and Jesus resurrected within the window of uh, fifty days, he has gone for a fishing. But when the Bible says the power of the Holy Ghost came, the power of the Holy Ghost came, it was a new dimension for him. It was a new dimension. And God Almighty helped him 
and he was bold, he was charismatic, he was preaching, he was doing all the things that God wanted him to do. I'm praying for you this year that God will help you to do what he wants you to do in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So, what are the things that are needed for you this year? Why do you need the Holy Spirit? Why do you need the Holy Spirit? Why is the Holy Spirit so inspired? Number one, the Holy Spirit gives us supernatural power. Supernatural power. Jesus said in Acts 1, 8, But you shall receive power when the Holy Ghost comes upon you, and you shall be my witnesses in Jerusalem, and in all Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. <laughs> you need supernatural power. I need supernatural power to resist sin, to move in the realm of the Spirit, to preach the word of God, to be a faithful servant, you need more than the physical, physical, physical energy, physical voice, physical things. Friends, you need special anointing, special auction. I don't know how Christians without the Holy Spirit survive. Are they saying they don't face temptations? Women, men. You need the power of God to overcome. No wonder many people, you see pastors sleeping with uh, church members, elders sleeping with choir members, and so on. And then they say the, 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 the devil tempted them. God knew that the enemy is there. He said, woe unto the earth. For the enemy has been was sent down here. Send down here. There is Satan is here. There, there are powers and principality. There are satanic agents here. And for you, they are divine. They are, they are spirit filled. They are spirit filled. So, you need the Holy Spirit to be able to resist such powers. To be able to stand. Didn't you see this Peter who was uh, denied with a small girl? What would uh, the girl do to him? There's nothing the girl can do. So what? But this same man, when he got the Holy Spirit, stood before the Sanhedrin, stood before the Pharisees and the Sadducees and said, Men and brethren, what do you want us to do? Who do you want us to believe? You or Christ? Even though Christ was no more physically on earth. Even though he knew Christ was on the right hand of God. He was bold. Why? Because the power of the Holy Ghost was there. He shall be my witnesses in Jerusalem. You want to do the ministry in your home? You want to go to America? You want to go to Asia? You want to go to South Africa? You want to go to South America? You want to go all over the word of God and share the word of God in Judea, in Samaria? You need the power of God to raise the dead, to make the lame to walk. You need the power. It's a supernatural power. Do you think it is just by eyes that he just said, uh, Peter got to the beautiful gate with a layman and he said, <laughs> silver and gold I do not have, but what I have I give to you in the name of Jesus. It is the name of Jesus soaked in the power of the Holy Ghost. As you go this year, miracle will happen with you. You are not just going to be recipients of the Holy Spirit, but the power of the Holy Ghost will flow from you. People will touch you in the mall, and they will say, power get what out of them. Hallelujah. In the name of Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. Yes. You will walk miracles. You will walk miracles. You that you are listening to me, you will testify that through the power of the Holy Ghost, miracles are happening through you. In the name of the Lord, the Holy Spirit gives us supernatural gifts. 1 Corinthians 12, from verse um, uh, 7 there. Let me share those uh, gifts with you very quickly. I don't want to gloss over it. As a matter of fact, let me just read from here. There are various gifts, but the same Spirit. There are differences of administration, but the same Lord. There are various operations, but it is the same God who operates all of them in all people. But the manifestation of the Spirit is given to everyone for the common good. To one is given by the Spirit the word of wisdom, to another the word of knowledge by the same Spirit, to another faith by the same Spirit, to another gifts of healing by the same Spirit, to another the working of miracles, to another prophecy, to another designing of spirit, to another various kinds of tongues, and to another the interpretation of tongue, but that one and very same spirit works all this divided to each one individually as we. When the Holy Spirit came to live 
on the inside of you. He brought his gifts with him. Inspired by the Holy Spirit, Paul tells us we should earnestly desire spiritual gifts, especially the gift of prophecy. The gifts of prophecy. It is every gift of the Holy Spirit is for your advantage. Are you a student? Don't you need wisdom? You need wisdom to write papers. I tell people, you know, in our time we have we have we are hyper in in the activities, but we have lost the merit. It's not you hear people say, look, ah, our church has seven day program. Our church has four powerful days of administration, and then they get to the office. They are not just sleeping. Their bosses give them things to do and they can't do it. And they are sacked. The, the moment they want to retrench people, they are the first to be kicked out. Why do you think they are kicking you out? Why do you think you are losing job and you are, and you are binding and losing? You lack wisdom. When you have the wisdom of God to write the paper to be the best in that office, even if they want to rationalize, we'll be the last person to go. That's what the Holy Spirit is talking about. That's what I'm talking about, what you need this year. In that your office, for, to write your paper, to please, the, to do the work God has given, to be creative, you need the wisdom of God, you need the knowledge of God. Knowledge, knowledge, information. You need to be able to do the research and be able to, you know, to, to put it down in a way that, you know, people will see and write, read your paper and say, wow, where is this coming from? You know, every meeting they want you to be there. Every meeting they want you to champion it. When you speak in the meeting, somebody will listen to you. Even your boss wants you to, wants to hear you. My friend, that's what the Holy Spirit is needed for. The Holy Spirit is, is good to talk in tongues. I, I speak in tongues and the Paul says I, I prophesy and I speak in tongues more than anything. But he says you speak in understanding and you speak in prophecy. He says if prophecy edifies, you are able to, to even have insight into what they are doing. You can imagine, I mean, it's like a project when Paul was going and they were and they were on rail and he was telling the, the county, I'm sure he, Paul didn't know how to navigate uh, uh, um, uh, the ship, but he was filled with the Holy Ghost and he was telling, look, this is the way to go, this is the way to go. And they were deriding him, but what he said was what happened. That's what the Holy Ghost does, knowledge. You can, you can be able to tell your company based on the revelation of God, based on the Holy Spirit that said, this is the new product we need to emphasize on. This is where the direction this company should go. My friend, Church is not just clapping. Coming to church has taken a new dimension. The reason the, 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 the people are not respecting us is because we downplay the power of the Holy Ghost. We downplay the application of the Holy Ghost in our lives. You know, I don't mean to deride any nation, but in my last trip, we were in South Korea. We were also in Ghana. And two years ago, I was in Serbia. These three nations, listen to me carefully now. These three nations, uh, Ghana, Zambia, South Korea, had their independence the same year, 1957. South Korea is a strong Buddhist nation. Ghana, Zambia are Christian nations. When we got to South Korea, a Buddhist nation, you will see development. It's as if we are saying that, look, because we are serving Christ, that's why we are not developing. No, we are missing the point. We are missing the point. And that's why I'm sharing what I'm sharing with you. We are not exploiting the power of the Holy Spirit and applying it the way we should. The nation that should be top in, in, in honesty and in, uh, in, uh, in, uh, in, uh, in integrity and should make progress are the Christian nations. So that the, the nations who are not Christian will come to us and do what? And beg for wisdom. Why do you think they are, they are, they are, they are, they are, they are, they are rushing to America? Because the power of God is there and I pray they don't lose it. And they are applying it. So, we in Africa should maximize the power of the Holy Spirit. It talks about wisdom. It talks about knowledge. It talks about prophecy. In your church, you can be a prophet. Instead of you begging for prophecy, looking for visioners, 
the, when you have the Holy Ghost, God will begin to speak to you in the night. God will begin to speak to you about your children, about your spouse, about what you want to do, where, where you should live. Some of us are living in nations where God didn't send us. That's why we are slaves there. That's why we are doing what God has not called us to do. You don't understand what I'm saying. I plead with you this year. Number one, why you need the Holy Spirit, why you must pray for the Holy Spirit, the power in it, the energy, the anointing. The, the, it said the, the first John chapter 2, verse 27, it said, when the anointing comes upon you, nobody will need to teach you a thing. Anything in second two is the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Even the gifts and the fruits of the Holy Spirit. Wisdom, I mean, I mean patience, you know, long suffering, self control. All these are gifts of the Holy Spirit too that the Lord gives to us, the fruits of the, the, the... Number three, the Holy Spirit helps us build our faith. Jude 20 says, But you, beloved, build your, yourself up in your most holy faith. Pray in the Holy Spirit. I pray in the Spirit for at least the first 30 minutes of my day. I pray in the Spirit in sports throughout the day. I'm praying the Spirit, the Spirit as I write and I speak to you even now. I'm asking God to help me so that the Word can get to you. You need the Holy Spirit to build your faith. You see, Christians, I, I, I pray you will not backslide, I will not backslide. But what do you think has, makes people to backslide? Lack of the Holy Spirit. They are not building themselves. You, every day you, 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 you spend 24 hours, you have two minutes for the word of God. You don't go to church for one month, don't go to church for three months. I mean, you are, you, and you have justification. I was telling them, <laughs> we had three or seven days of prayer this week, past week. And I was saying, one of the days, this is Canada, very cold. Very, very cold. Very cold. It was a <laughs> unbelievably cold. And men, of course, many people did not come to church or to that service. And I said, why? Because they, they, it was cold. But guess what? God moved in us. The Holy Spirit was there to energize us. Building yourself in faith. Building yourself in faith. Building yourself in faith. There will be genuine reasons for you not to want to pray, not to want to read the Bible, not to want to fellowship. But I'm telling you, the Holy Spirit helps you to build your faith. The Holy Spirit is what will wake you up in the night, what will wake you in the morning, what will energize you. The Holy Spirit is what will give you confidence when you are in the bus to speak, not just about God. I cannot travel I mean, fly and you're sitting with me. The Holy Spirit will energize me to talk. The Holy Spirit helps you to build your faith. To build your faith. Number four, the Holy Spirit gives life and strength to your bodies. Romans 8, 11 says, But if the Spirit of Him who raised Jesus from the dead lives in you, He who raised Christ from the dead will also give life to your mortal bodies through His Spirit that lives in you. We give you your, we give your mortal bodies to a spirit that lives in you. The Holy Spirit who raised Jesus Christ. The Holy Spirit who did not make him to be sick. I am 61 plus. And I can tell you I have never taken one paracetamol one day. The Holy Spirit energizes my body. Proves it. It's not that I don't have malaria or something. But I call on the Holy Spirit. I pray in the Holy Ghost. I ask God to strengthen me. I speak on the word of God. Exodus 15, 36, we will not put any of these diseases they have put upon the Egyptians upon me because the Lord that he left me. The Holy Spirit helps your mortal body. Help your mortal body. I'm not against you if you don't have the faith. Uh, if you want to live on paracetamol all your life, it's good for you. But I can tell you the Holy Spirit helps your mortal body. The Holy Spirit helps you fight fight viruses, flus, sicknesses, and diseases. The, Lord, the word of God is not in vain. I am the Lord. I will not put any of these diseases that are put upon the Egyptians, the sinners, the people who don't have the Holy Ghost upon you because I am the Lord and He left you. The Lord will heal you tonight. But God wants you this year to do what? To have and to walk in the Holy Ghost. Excuse me. The Holy Spirit, number five, helps us to resist 
temptations. Romans 8, 13 says, For if you live according to the flesh, you will die. But if you if through the spirit you put to death the deeds of the body, you will live. And Galatians 5, 16 says, I say then, walk in the spirit, and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. If you are struggling with temptation of any kind, ask the Holy Spirit to help you. It's your helper. He's right there to help you. I beg you in the name of Jesus Christ. This year, don't go into sin. God will visit sin upon people. Let me close with this. Three scriptures you must bear in mind this year. Why you need the Holy Spirit. You see, whether you like it or not, this year we end. I said earlier, we are praying God for crossover. Now you have crossover. Thank God for this year. Amen. But this year also we need to cross over. These are the things that will help you. That will guide you to succeed this year. I call it, every person asks for greed for his children. This is your greed. This is your result. There are three categories of results based on talent, based on the, what we do that God greets people. Number one is Matthew chapter 25 verse 30 Matthew chapter 25 verse 30 it says and cast ye the unprofitable servant into outer darkness there shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth what makes this unprofitable servant he didn't use his talent this year use your talent I'm telling you now I'm telling you now Use your talent so that you will not be regarded, discarded as an unprofitable servant. The second category is Matthew 7, verse 21. Ask, I mean, sorry, excuse me. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesy in thy name, and in thy name have cast out devils, and in thy name done many wonderful works, and then will I prophesy unto them, and never you depart from me, ye that walk in iniquity. I said, this is a category that applied knowledge, applied talent, but messed it up with sin. Messed it up with, he said, depart from me, walk out in iniquity. So it's not just going to church, that's why you need the Holy Ghost. It's not just singing in the choir. If you go to church, pay your tithe, do everything, and the Holy Spirit is not there to help you overcome, the result will still be, I never knew you, I never knew you, I never, that will not be your portion. God will have a good voice for you in the name of, and this is the good result, the third category, which we are praying for myself and you, in Matthew 25, verse 23, his Lord said unto him, well done, good and faithful servant. Thou hast been faithful over a few things, and will make thee ruler over many things. Enter thou into the joy of the Lord. Let's begin to pray for the power of the Holy Ghost. Father, I thank you for my people tonight. I thank you for myself. I'm praying, Lord, that, Lord, as many as are on this place, Lord, baptize us with the Holy Ghost. Baptize us with the Holy Ghost. We receive the Holy Ghost, whoever you are. Anointed that you need this year. Anointed to break every yoke, every stronghold of the enemy upon you. I break it tonight. I lay my hand on you. The Bible says they receive the Holy Ghost by the laying on of hands. Wherever you are, whether you are in your kitchen, whether you are driving, whether you are sleeping, lying down on your bed, I ask the Holy Spirit to fill you right now. The Holy Spirit to help you navigate this year. The Holy Spirit to help you in your office. To, the Holy Spirit to help you to conceive. Maleke Rebo Sokuria. Somebody is on this line tonight for two years, five years, some of you seven years, eight years, you've been looking unto God for the blessing of the womb. Receive the power of conception now by the impartation of the Holy Ghost upon you in the mighty name of Jesus. Because this is your year of deliverance and the year of, year of rest. Receive the power of God. Some of you have been thinking of 
I've been praying, I cannot speak in tongues. Receive the baptism to speak in tongues right now. In the name of Lord Jesus, the energy, the energy, receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it. Some of you have been cowardly. You are not bold. You have been dingy, dingy here and there, walking in hypocrisy, double face. Receive the power of God. I break that power of deceit and hypocrisy over your life in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. Somebody is on this line. You have been masturbating. You have been watching pornography and blue films for the year. And you don't know the solution. I'm calling upon the power of the Holy Ghost to break that influence over your life right now. Be destroyed right now. Be destroyed right now. Be destroyed right now. Everything in you, everything that makes life ding dong for you. Everything that makes it palatable. Every spirit of temptation, I break it in the name of Jesus. Reke posoko robo sokuria. Makasinde rebo shuria. Every argument about temptation, every argument about inability to serve God, I destroy it now by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible says, as they were praying, the Holy Ghost fell upon them suddenly. Let the power of God come upon you now, suddenly, and give you utterance in the name of the Lord Jesus. Continue to do well. Many of you, some of you are students there, and you have been failing, and the Bible says, one of the reasons for giving us the Holy Ghost, even though I did not mention, is to teach us all things. And I'm asking that the Holy Spirit will teach you all things. For he said in Acts, in, in, in John chapter 14, verse 26, said the Spirit, the Comforter, do the Holy, the Holy Spirit and the Lord will, will teach you all things. Are you an, a student? Are you in, the, in your research level, postgraduate level, uh, undergraduate level, high school level, elementary level, and you are at the verge of dropout, and you are struggling with can receive the power of the Holy Ghost to do well this year in the name of Lord Jesus? Are you in the confusion? You, are no, you don't even know what to move forward. Are, whether to divorce your husband or not to divorce your husband, whether to live in Canada or not to live in Canada, whatever confusion is in your life, I pray the power of the Holy Ghost to who guides to guide you right now. Receive the revelation, receive revelation, receive revelation, receive revelation, receive revelation in the name of Jesus. Those of you that have been on one spot in your office because nothing good is coming from you, they are wondering why they, 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 they employ you. In fact, you are the value of being thrown out. I receive anointing to pray for you tonight to receive a new dimension of success in that office. You begin to do well. Begin to produce in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Some of you are sick in this place tonight. I pray for you tonight that the power of the Holy Ghost will heal you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible says the Holy Ghost He said when the, 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 the angel came to Mary, he said thou art favored among women. He said you are going to conceive and bear children. He said how can that be? He was talking. When he said you are not going to live with your husband. He said, okay. he said, the Holy Spirit will overshadow you. I pray for you tonight, whether for childbearing, whether for business concern, the Holy Ghost will overshadow you. In the name of Jesus Christ, you begin to have ideas, mental ideas. You begin to write new books, write new songs that will turn around the world in the name of Jesus. You will no more be a failure in the name of Lord Jesus. I pray that by the end of this year, you will carry your children. Many of us are concerned in ministry about the challenges we are facing. I'm asking God who is my helper to help you in the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit will help us to navigate this year. We will not beg for bread. In the name of Lord, I release the power of prosperity through the Holy Ghost that will guide you in your business acumen, in your business proceed, in your business matter. You will navigate this year with success in the name of Jesus. You will not end up, you know, being told to be a castaway or profitable son. You will not be an unprofitable son. You will not say, I've done this one and it says, look, you are, you are workers. Or, no, the spirit of iniquity I destroy over you. In the name of Lord Jesus Christ, there will be a voice for you and I that well done at the end of this year. You wonderful child for what you have done. Come and enjoy the blessing of your Father. So shall it be for you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we are prayed. Amen. Amen. Amen in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Again, Thank you for listening and watching this telecast and being on Periscope or YouTube, wherever the Lord has given you the opportunity to listen to this. Please, every day, pray for the Holy Spirit. You are going out in your car, 
wherever you are, Holy Spirit saturate me today. Holy Spirit inspire me today. You know, I'm going to have another video where we are talking about how to receive the Holy Spirit. But for now, pray for the Holy Spirit. You need the Holy Spirit. I'm telling you, for your marriage, for your career, for your business, for your academic pursuit, whatever area of your life, you need the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit is free. Free gift. Guide, direct, teach, energize, empower. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. My name is Amos Dada, and I'm a pastor here in Toronto, Christ Apostolic Church Better. Please, we worship every Sunday, 10 a.m. at 94 Kenha Drive, Unit 22. You are free to come if you are in the GTA. Feel free, feel free. You, you will experience the power of God. We pray for the Holy Ghost. We swim in the Holy Ghost. We enjoy the miracles of God. That's what you are going to partake of. Hallelujah. You need to be in the last service. Another service we had. Oh my goodness. God is good. God is good. God is good. Come and be a partaker of what God is doing in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. This is the year and the Holy Spirit will help you to navigate it. My number is 416-616-2425. Email is amos.dada at gmail.com. And that's what is my Facebook number too. And that's my WhatsApp number. You can also check us out on our website, www.cacbetter.com and www.idoeministry.com. God bless you and have a great evening in Jesus' name.